Hello and welcome to your Monday reading lesson. Today we are going to read the story, Max the Brave. What does it mean to be brave, do you think? Brave, if you had to think of one way to describe somebody who's brave, what would you say? Would you say it's somebody who rides their bike? Would you say it's somebody who fights a bad guy? Would you say it's somebody who steps out of their comfort zone and reads in front of a whole group of people? Hmm. Brave can look different depending on what you're scared of, right? So some people are scared of certain things, so when they do it, that makes them brave. Um, so brave can be different depending on who it is and what the situation is, right? So today we're gonna to read Max the Brave. This is by Ed Veer. This is Max. Doesn't Max look sweet? Max looks so sweet that sometimes people dress him up with bows. Do you think he likes that? Probably not, look at his eyes. We'll see. Max does not like being dressed up with bows because Max is a fearless kitten. Max is a brave kitten. Max is a kitten who chases mice. Look, he's, this usually means they're mad, right? And he's stomping on the ribbon. And here is Max. Brave. Max, the brave, just needs to find out what a mouse looks like, and then he's going to chase it. Oh, you can't see the picture. <gasps> Maybe mouse is in there. Max bravely explores the can. Mouse, are you in there? Hmm, mouse isn't here. Oh. Hello. Is that a mouse? Are you mouse? No, I'm fly, says fly, but just saw mouse scurry by a moment ago. Hmm, maybe this is what mouse looks like. Excuse me, please, but are you mouse? I'm not mouse. Fish, says fish, but I just saw mouse dash outside. Ooh. <gasps> that must be mouse up in the tree. Is that mouse? <gasps> We're not mouse. We are birds, say the birds. But we did just see mouse Scoot by. Excuse me, but would you happen to be mouse? Eek! Mouse! I'm not mouse, I'm elephant, says elephant, but I did just see mouse skitter by. Thank you very much, says Max. And you? Nope. That away. Hello there. Are you mouse by any chance? Who, me? No. Certainly not. I'm monster, squeaks mouse. But I did just see mouse asleep over there. Is he telling the truth? If you were very quick, you might catch him. Thank you very much, says Max. Whoa. Does that look like a mouse to you? It must be mouse. Hmm. I don't know. Mouse was so big. <clears throat> Excuse me, mouse. Will you wake up, please? I am Max the Brave, and I have come to chase you. Wakey, wakey, mouse, yells Max as he bounces up and down on Monster's head. I am Max the Brave, and I chase mice, and I might just eat you 
up to. Hmm, I didn't know Mouse had such a big T. Go. Now where is he? In the belly. Achoo! Sneezed him out. Yuck! Max decides that chasing mice is not all it's cracked up to be. And anyway, he doesn't need to be Max the Brave all the time. Unless he's out chasing monsters. The end. Okay, so today what you're going to write about is something that you have done that was very, very brave. Um, and so it can be a lot of different things. It can look a lot of different ways. Um, you might say something that you did that was very, very brave was maybe try a sport that you've never tried before or you sang or you talked in front of a huge group of people or maybe you tried riding your bike without any training wheels something that you did that kind of scares you but you just did it anyway and that was very brave of you to do so I want you to think about something that you did that was brave and I want you to write a sentence about it okay all right also today I want you to time how fast you can get through all your letters and sounds. I want parents, I want letters, sounds, actions, and I want you to time them and see them how fast they can go. Record that time because as we go throughout the weeks, I want you to beat that time. If you did it last week, your goal is to beat that time as fast as you can go. You should be able to rattle off all the letters and sounds really, really quick, okay? And so that is what you need to do today to practice that. So all your letters and sounds for practice, write your sentence and then today we are going to talk about um remember how we have those pictures like the ball and you gave me all those all words well i don't have a poster with me right now but i want you to think of some words that end with ill i l l so what I want you to do is think of three words that have ill at the end of them. So I'd catch a, ill, put in a, f. Okay, so make three words that have ill on them. And then I will write them on a poster and we will put them. I will show you all the words that our whole class thinks of that have that ill sound. Okay, so you have three things. Write a sentence, all your letters and sounds, and words that have ill at the end. I-L-L. -L. Okay. All right. Have a great Monday. Good luck and good work. See ya.